Peace and God bless. This is the Linux Mint, which I have installed on the Acer Lars Chromebook for work. And everything works except the sound driver. But there is a solution by using audio relay. It's a program that can stream your PC audio to the phone. And we all have these phones. And if you don't, you can always find those cheap ones around and use them, especially if they have a good speaker. I have clicked and started audio relay program. The Linux is much slower than Windows, but it does have some other benefits and it's of course free. This audio relay program, you have basically you can use it and download both for Linux and you can also download it for Windows and also for iOS, I believe. Yeah, I got one of my cheap phones just for demonstration purposes only. I got another one which is stronger it has its own e heat sink and um, it does have a big speaker so i use that one but you can use any phone and um, these laptops they don't come with um, big speakers anyway so um this is perfect solution thanks to these people who made audio relay program because without this program I wouldn't have any sounds on my Lars for work Acer Chromebook I bought this Chromebook on eBay for only $33 with free shipping it came in few days. I was expecting being used that I'll have to clean it. But once I opened, I found out it was brand new, never been used actually. First, you need to install on Linux or on Windows audio relay program and start it up like I did. Next, start your Google Play Store on your phone and search apps type in audio relay just like this and um, press yeah press the search button and it will come up with audio relay it's made by person Asafa Khalifa. May God bless him for making this program. It does contain ads but you will hardly notice them at all. The program does run really well with just one click and it works perfectly and I'll show you. First click install. downloading quick and installing as you may or can see of course so um, while
while it's installing, let me start up the YouTube on the Linux. I'll use the Brave browser, which I recommend to you because it can block many ads. I have installed the Brave web browser, as you can see. And it's right there on Linux Mint, Internet, and then Brave browser. There is Firefox browser, which is famous and well known, but it doesn't work well with touch screen, unlike Brave web browser works well with the touch screen which I have on this Chromebook Acer device. And also blocks the ads. I have nothing against ads, but they just take unnecessary computer power and um, energy, so we need to save that. Let's start the Brave browser. I've just started up the Brave browser, but it does ask me for a password and I'll just type it in quick. In case you wonder why, that's because of the Linux. Linux has all kinds of extra securities, hacking and all of that kind of stuff. But it's not good for gaming and um, streaming and some other things that the Windows is extremely fast. So this is the post I just made today about um, my Acer Chromebook C771T touch T for touchscreen on Linux Mint. And here I also wrote an article on my, as you can see, on my WordPress address. Anyways, I just opened the YouTube and I'm going to listen for some music to test out the audio relay program, which seems to be installed, so I'm ready to open it up. It does come with the welcome screen. We'll just press get started. So yeah, it is right here, you see Audio Relay. And I'm already showing my server, which is Linux. Which is on this laptop, Linux Mint. So all I need to do is press this server Press that and it will connect. And that's basically, that's all you need to do actually. Just press that and connect. And now let me click the song and test if it works. So yeah. God bless us all. Welcome back. I was able to connect to the service, as you can see, already 40 seconds and counting, running, being connected to my Linux audio relay program. It shows right here, Samsung, this phone, connected with the Linux. You get a little uh, down, but it does not really have any interference plus you can turn off the screen to save the battery and um, so you can use this phone as a speaker now i had to reboot both both linux and um, android phone because I didn't want to connect for some reason and after rebooting them both and connecting them they must be connected to the same wi-fi I was able to connect. Also, before testing the sound, I was doing some changes in the setting. If you scroll right down, you will see there player settings, there is audio quality. You click that and you have options there. 
but that had nothing to do with um, not being able to connect, so I had to reboot. That did solve the problem. Yay, 10 minutes and 10 seconds, and you can hear Jean-Michel Jarre. Electronica, the time machine. Jean-Michel Jarre and Vince Clark. Automatic parts one and two. It does play on my little Samsung S10. And now I'll show you can also now turn off the screen on the phone. Yeah, you see, I just put the phone right next to the laptop. I turn off the phone screen and now the phone is using not really that much battery. It's just running the speaker. As you can see, by using this program, audio relay, I was able to fully have full use of both Windows and um, Linux. But in next video, I'll show you about the Windows, how it works in the Windows. It's pretty much the same thing, not much different. So this cheap Acer Chromebook, which originally can run only Chrome operating system. Yeah, I'm back. I had to lower the volume so it doesn't interfere with me talking to you. This is gonna be the end of this video. I'm going to finish it. So let's wrap it up. As you can see, and also as you may see, or whatever phrases we use, I was able to get this very cheap, you know, but in brand new condition, Acer C771T touchscreen to get it fully functional in both Windows and Linux. And I got the charger for it and everything works perfectly. It's blazing fast. But I know about computers. I'm a computer engineer, technician, and I'm um, wunderkind, right? Peace and God bless.